Hi, this is the Liberty Football Press Conference. I'd like to open it up for some questions from our audience. All right, Isaiah, go ahead. Um, who do you think is like the star football player of this season? Who do you expect to uh, kind of branch out? We're in an interesting situation this year in that we uh, have very few returning starters. And, um, but what I tell people, what I've told people the whole time is that who we do have returning are really good players. And I think we'll see some of those people that were good, productive players last year step up again this year. A.J. Cambrick as quarterback had a good year last year, and we're expecting big things. Devin Bryant as running back had a 1,000-yard season and is an um, exciting player to watch, and we think he'll have a great year. And then on the offensive line, Kean Broughton is a four-year starter and a good offensive lineman and one of those guys that makes people around him better. Defensively, when you look at our returning starters, Jacob McGowan is going on his third year as a starter has been one of those guys, he always makes key plays and big plays in big situations. And we're excited about him. Cole Metcalf returns from a great junior year. We had a lot of sacks and did some things. Then Stephen Marion, who played and started toward the end of our year last year and, and played before that quite a bit, is something we're expecting a big year out of. And looking at those guys, uh, we're excited about the guys around them and their ability to step up and see how they do. And when they get into those game type situations, and that's one of the fun things about high school football is, you know, seeing guys improve and do better and, and uh, compete on Friday nights. Yes? What is one thing that you're trying to strive on the team improving on that was not, not as much as the good thing last year? Well, and I think if you look at last year, um, we had some games that we did really well and some we really struggled. Our offense was rather inconsistent. And we're going to try to get that consistency back up. Uh, turnover margin is something where two years ago we were plus 13 and then we were only plus three last year. And it, that goes into keeping care of the ball yourself and then creating, tur creating turnovers. And that's been a big emphasis this summer and this off season is doing that. And we're hoping we can work that into what we do. Um, in our football program, we really have three goals that we look at every week is try to win that turnover margin. We try to outrush the other team by holding down their rushing yards and increasing ours and then winning the special teams game. And we feel like we got a chance. We have a good group of athletes that so we'd have a good chance to put good special teams teams out on the field and good personnel within them and uh, be able to win that part of the football game. Yes? Um, can you talk about the first game? Yeah, we, we have an extremely tough first game in our opener. We play Lee Summit West, who's the defending 5A state champion. They, um, they are somebody that moved up to 6A, but we moved to 5. We kind of flipped spots in not only conference, but in 6A, 5A. Uh, they're a very strong physical football team. They return a running back. Coming back, that's going to, he's already committed to the University of Missouri, really good player. And then just many good linemen. Their linebackers are back. And I looked at their defense. They have five returning starters. And on their returning starters on their defense, um, all five of them were all conference type players or at some level. Whether they're first string, second team, or all I mentioned, they were all conference players. So we know they're going to be a very tough opponent. And it'll give us a good gauge of where we're at in week one and, and um, as we move forward through this early part of our schedule. Yes. Yeah, we, we had a, what we felt was a really good jamboree, and not just on how we played, but then who we played. Played Park Hill South, who was a good team last year that did well within their conference, and then um, then we played Blue Spring South, a team that we lost to at the end of the year last year, and a very quality opponent, and somebody that's ranked in the, you know, the top 10 in 6A. And it, you just kind of get a little taste in a jamboree. We had 18 plays on offense, 18 on defense, but it gives us a good idea of you know, were we able to execute during that time and do those things? And um, some of the highlights, I know Jacob McGowan had an interception that would have been returned. We had, a, um, I think, six touchdowns total. That You know, some through the air. Xavier Hinkle had a pass from A.J. Cameron that we caught for a touchdown. We also, um, Devin Bryant had a couple long runs um, through there. And um, But all in all, coming back, and we brought the team back. We watched film that night before we went home. And, um, we just felt like offensively that we executed maybe better than we had in some of the team camps or in previous scrimmage thing, type situations that we had done. And um, defensively felt good about the way we swarmed to the football and the energy we had on the field. Yes? Can you kind of talk a little bit about your schedule and like anything that really stood out with you? Well, when you look at our schedule, um, breaking it down to conference and non-conference, the conference teams are going to be really new. And now we played Park Hill South and uh, Park Hill, Park Hill South. Truman and Ruskin and then St. Joe Central and those would be teams that if we have played them it's been a while. Park Hill we played on non-conference last year uh, but we're excited to play within that league and uh, it's going to be a while before we reach some of those games. Our non-conference schedule is extremely tough and that we still have three 6A teams that were, that were on there 
Um, now we start off with Lee Summit West. We play Ray Pack again and um, Columbia Hickman later in the year. And then our other our, our other non-conference opponent is Kearney, who's ranked very high in 4A and just an outstanding football program that's uh, in the town next to us here. So we know it's going to be a very challenging schedule and one that we hope to as a team that we can get better each week as we go through the season and keep getting better. So um, there is a lot of good football in Kansas City. So I think if you'd ask any coach around the same question, you get a lot of the same answers. There's a lot of good football teams and um, very well coached, good programs, and a lot of communities that put a big emphasis on football. Yes? Do you think you'll do better this year than last year? Well, I think if you look at just record-wise, we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, in terms what you know, how we measure how well we do is how well does our team work up to their potential and what they had. And um, our goals that you know, we come in are really the same every year and that we want to win our league championship, a district championship, and then on to a state championship and take them in those order. So we know we have to, you have to kind of go through that thing. Our district's a little bit different this year in that there's seven teams in it and that uh, the first place team will get a bye the week one and the other six teams will play. And that's something that's kind of new for us um, being in this situation. Um, but we know that the better we play during these first nine games, the better seed we'll have going in the districts and the better chance we'll have each week of moving on. So that's our, ultimately our goal is to win those and um, you know, set ourselves up for district play, get the home field where our community can come out and, and um, enjoy and watch a game and support our team. And um, you know, with our schedule the way it is, this year we only have four home games. Out of those, uh, it's flipped from last year. Out of the nine games, four at home, we're, we have to work really hard to, to finish in the top of our district so we can get a fifth game that would be a home game for our kids and our fans. Yes? Can you kind of um, tell us who all will be in your new district and kind of describe like, what they do well and what they don't? Well, and I think you look at um, our district, it's going to be some of the teams there from around this area. But, and, uh, you know, with Park Hill, Park Hill South, and we'll have St. Joe, um, St. Joe Central, Oak Park, and uh, Liberty North will be in there and Staley. So we're going to have a lot of um, – you know, new faces are teams that we haven't played before in there. And it's one of the things in Missouri is a little different that we, there's a chance or, and we probably won't play some of those teams. In fact, we won't play like Liberty North or a Staley on our schedule until we get to that um, district play and see if we play them or not. So um, it's just the way uh, the, the state moved to this uh, playoff schedule. And I think it's a good one. I do. I like it better than when they clump teams up and only one comes out. Cause sometimes you have some of the top teams in the state in that clump of teams. And only one comes out, and I think this is a was a change in the right direction, and it's an exciting way to be able to watch those points and how your districts are seated each Friday night. Yes, go ahead. Um, how do you guys feel about state? Like the chances of them really out of state? Well, you know, it's hard to say because we're just new in the 5A, and I know when you look at a lot of the preseason polls and things, we're not in them. And um, it could be certain unknowns, and I'm sure a lot of it's just, you know, because we have a lot of new players on there. Um, but, you know, that's down the road. Uh, of course, it's our goal. We'd like to bring a state championship to this high school, and there hasn't been one. We've, we've been close a few times, but there hasn't been one. And um, hopefully, you know, this will be a year that we can compete for one, and we'll know as we go throughout the season. You know, the biggest thing is winning those games and setting us into the playoff schedule where we're in a good situation as we go through our districts. But we know there, there's tough teams all around here. And um, if you look at the previous state champions from this class, they've come from the Kansas City area in Class 5. Yes? What are some things you're doing during practice that you think will really prepare you for Friday? Well, we kind of we keep our same practice schedule a lot the same each week where we, we spend a certain amount of times where we work players individually. Um, you know, and then we bring it together as a whole for team situations. So we'll split out by positions and everybody will work their jobs and we come together and put everything together. Football is such a team game where you have to have 11 guys doing right, doing the, the right thing for something to be successful, whether it's be on offense, defense, or a special team. So that's kind of how we teach it is in parts and we put it together for the whole and um, try to execute plays that way. One thing that we've Im implemented this year uh, we're doing specific stations for turnovers where we're working on how to get the ball, recover the football when it's on the ground, create turnovers, and uh, also protect the ball from when we're on offense and then we don't do the turnovers. Um, we have those, and then we've really stepped up our tackling drills and working the techniques of tackling, tackling in a safe way with our head and eyes up so that we're not putting ourselves in an unsafe situation, and then um, being able to tackle effectively in open space because we know that will cut down on rushing yards for the other team. So we do stations twice a week, um, and they're tough. And the, the coaches 
have to really get after it each day, but we know that repetition is the key. And as we continue to do those things, we're going to be able to see those things coming up on the field. Uh, on our first team camp that we went to this year, we created numerous turnovers from people just stripping the ball. And it's something we work every day. And it was evident that we work on it. And um, you can see it go from the drill into the team play. And that's something that we hope carries over each and every day. Uh, some specific things we do offensively and defensively, uh, we team take off for offense where we run our plays on air. We expect them to be perfect on air because we know if we can't run them on air perfectly, we're not going to be able to run them with the big defense in our face. And we work those daily in terms of lining up right, executing them at full speed, and doing that. And then defensively, we work pursuit drill where our defense works angles on pursuit of the football where we can keep all 11 of guys going after the football and be able to create those turnovers and tackles. Um, get rid of cutback lanes and things like that that will help us be a better defensive football team. Yes? Having seen them play, do you think you have a plan to improve the freshmen this year? You know, I, we've been very impressed with our freshmen. We changed our schedule this year to include freshmen with our varsity. They never went in the same drills with them, but they trained at the same time, and it allowed our varsity coaches to work with our freshmen. Um, they, they're a talented group, but more than that, I can tell they're just a good group of kids. They listen extremely well, and I think they really like football, and that's exciting for me. Uh, we have about 50 freshmen out, and um, some of them, um, you know, just like I said, talented individuals that are in their first years from the Blue Jay. They played in North Suburban. They didn't play with, with us as eighth grade, so they're just kind of learning our system and uh, us getting to know them, them getting to know us, and we're excited about the season they're going to have, and then also just that they're part of our program. All right. Yes, Morgan. Right, I know it is very early this year in our first few games, and I'm excited because there's just so much excited about the first part of the year with the school year and the, the community, and homecoming is always fun, and it's something that our kids enjoy and that I enjoy, and uh, it's just fun to see so much importance and, and emphasis put on to not just our football game, but all the fall sports in general and the ex excitement and activity that goes on in Liberty High School. And um, I'm excited that it's coming early. I think it'll be great for our kids and our faculty and our community. But, You know, um, I, I like how this group gets along. And uh, I said this, I told the team this the other night when we were at the Jamboree, I had the opportunity to be on the field and uh, be in the huddle a little bit where I called the play, but was able to in, listen to them interact with each other. And, and um, you know, I liked, I thought they communicated well. I didn't hear anybody, you know, being derogatory after something bad. There was a lot of people, a lot of good jobs and things. And um, what I think when it, when it people get into a stressful situation, they act, act out one or two ways and then they can put blame or they can, um, you know, have a crisis type time. And I thought our kids were very calm and helped each other out. And I think that's an encouraging thing to see um, as we move forward throughout this season. All right, any other questions? Yes. Um, obviously, when you've got some of the best uniform to go around, um, <laughs> do you feel like it makes the players play better? You know, uh, we, we do have some good looking uniforms and um, Siege Sports here in Kansas City has um, been our provider on the uniforms the last few years, and um, it's something our kids really like. And I like anything where our kids are going to be get excited about it and have some excitement about our program. Um, our team does not have a stadium like a lot of the other people do, and so I think it's neat that we have something we can um, take some pride in and being able to uh, go out and compete in. Same time, we understand that you know uniforms don't mean much on the win and loss column, but it does something to make makes it fun for the kids. And when our kids invest so much time within this program, it's a year-long commitment for them and our coaches. Anything they can have to be positive and get reinforced is fun and um, rewarding to them, I think it's great. All right, I'd like to thank you all for coming today and we'll see you again next week after our Lee Summer West game. Thank you.